What can I help you with, detective? These tanks. What's this about? Can't pass through without one of those chips. Entry Gotta be one around here somewhere. Damn it.
these Union citizens? What was Mobius doing with them?
is it after me? What does it have to do with this place? were using me as their guinea pig. Long-lasting residual effects. A way out? of my pain is me the part of me still stuck in stem never getting out no i'm wrong i will get out but without you what was that it felt different than the others more real like something changed. I feel... good. Huh. My trusty revolver. I haven't seen you in a long time.
do we have here? If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. Okay, let's see what happens. He's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. Cerebral chip, please wait. Unity cerebral chip detected. Entry authorized. About time. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill.
Just listen. Listen. His voice will come. You've got to resist him. Hoffman, stand back. No, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Stay out of my way, Sebastian. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! <laughs> Thank you, S Sebastian. Uh, finally, free from his voice. From my fears. I was so scared. Y you've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. The machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So 
that you can destroy him. <sighs> what happened? How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but you heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet.
Detective Castellanos. Good to see you again. Mark of influence. Theodore's sticking his fingers in every part of this place. It's almost like a form of communication with him. So you know Theodore Wallace? Of course. He's head of recruitment. But what's he doing in STEM? And why is he doing this? There's a lot going on that you don't know about. Theodore wants Lily for himself. You saw what he did to O'Neill. He'll do that to everybody in here if he has to. He'll tear this place apart to get his hands on her. I can't let that happen. What is it? I'm not totally sure, but it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian. I'm starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough of yours? I have. Looking for an excuse to use it too. Good. I'm sending you my coordinates. Bring the big guns. We're going hunting. Got it. I'm already gone. See you soon. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. Tell me something, Torres. I need you to clarify a few things for me, Hoffman. You didn't seem surprised to see Esmeralda here. Why should I be? She's a familiar face in STEM. Everybody knows everybody in Mobius, huh? More like I know everybody. I've been in charge of new hire evaluations for years. Like one big dysfunctional family. Esmeralda's the best person to have around in dangerous situations. She's a good soldier. You're damn right I am. I assume you know Myra, too? I do. We work together closely. How could she do this? How could she stand by while they conducted experiments on Lily? How could she tell Lily that I was dead? Myra's maternal instinct is very strong. She joined Mobius to be closer to Lily. And the word experiment is a bit harsh. Lily was treated well, and she was able to interact with her mother on a daily basis. As far as telling Lily you were dead, I believe Myra only did it to protect Lily's feelings. Yeah, well... I believe Myra's maternal instinct has gotten a little bit out of control. Hopefully, you can work this all out as a family when this is all over. I've been into Theodore's reality. If it's a reflection of his psyche, he's definitely got some serious mental issues. That would explain why he's so powerful. And yet he's hiding. Perhaps it's easier to manipulate from the shadows. Well, I'm about to drag him out of the shadows. If what Liam told us was true... There's only one way to find out. I don't know if you should be in here when this thing goes off. I don't think I want to be. There were some interesting items in the other room that Liam was working on. I want to go check and see if there's anything that might be useful. Okay. But then you should get back to your safe house. No telling what will happen in here once we shut this thing down. Will do.
Tell me something, Torres. So you knew Hoffman before this? Everybody knows Hoffman. You don't get into Mobius without passing through her office. Can she be trusted? I might have said no before, but nothing like being abandoned by your corporate masters to make you rethink your position. She's trapped in here like the rest of us. Hmm. So you're not sure? Yeah, she's not bad. Just a bit of a cold fish. I have trouble completely trusting people who look at me like I'm something in a petri dish. I don't know what's gonna happen when we blow this thing up. Me either. But at least we're being proactive. I don't think we're gonna convince Theodore to leave Lily alone. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who can be talked into doing the right thing. So you're giving me orders to shoot on sight? I'm just saying be prepared for anything. You can't predict what's gonna happen in this place. No offense, but how did someone as smart and headstrong as you wind up in an organization like Mobius? I was a demolitions expert in the army. They loaned me out to Mobius for some black ops stuff. Once my term was up, they came knocking. And you just joined up like that? They were pretty good salesmen. They don't tell you everything when you sign up. I was... tasked with some things that I'm not proud of. They expect you to follow blindly, and if you disobey... When Myra offered me the opportunity to get out, I had to take it. I've still got some morals left, despite the things that I've had to do. Is that enough to take care of this thing? Like ten times over. And it's ready to go when you are. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick Ass happening in three, two, one. Are you okay, Torres? Torres? Where'd you? Sebastian Castellanos. You refuse to step into the darkness. So you try to bring me to the light. Your rash decisions have always been your downfall. Come then, I await you. You want to find your beloved daughter? Go there. See if it's everything you dreamt of. I'm over here, Dad. Hurry, hurry. Oh, God. Lily? You're here.
can't wait to hear what you hear. She tried to tell you that you were too stupid to listen. No. No. No, this isn't right. Anything about me? Myra understood that goals can be achieved by submission, by joining. Precious daughter, isn't this what you wanted? Dad, you let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? No, please. I, I couldn't. I wanted to.
get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's, wrong? What's wrong? Are you alright? You've, right? You've, You've been working too hard. Too hard. It's, making it's making you delirious. You delirious. <sighs> Myra? Where? I'm home. How did I? Lily's realm. Just the way it used to be. The way I wish it had stayed. drawings. God, I hope she still has some of that innocence after all this. I buried myself in work so hard. If I could only get some of that time back, I'd spend it with them. She really could do it all. No, that letter. My, when she set her mind to something, she wouldn't stop. Not like me. It sounded so crazy at the time. But I should have believed her. My dearest Sebastian, if you've received this letter, then I fear the worst has come to pass. It means that my investigation got too close to the truth. It means that you may never see me again. I'm sorry I kept it from you, but it was to protect you from either the truth or my madness. I've enclosed a copy of my files. I only hope that you never receive them, but if you do, it's up to you to finish what I started. Please. Find justice for Lily, and for me. I love you with all of my heart, Myra.
I'm so sorry, Sebastian. You've endured so much. All this time, all alone. It's my fault. You tried to tell me. But I didn't believe you. And now I'm so messed up. I'm talking to an hallucination. I couldn't save Lily from the fire. I failed everyone. That's not true, Sebastian. There was no fire to save her from. You know this now. But I couldn't protect her. How could you? Mobius are a force of nature. What you're doing... It's like blaming yourself for an earthquake. It wasn't your fault. You have to stop torturing yourself. You're a good man, Sebastian. That's why I married you. And this time, you can save her. There are too many forces against you. You have to stay strong. Don't let the past defeat you. I forgive you. And Lily will too. But the most important thing is that you forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. She's right. She's always been right. Theodore uses my own guilt against me. But guilt for what? It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this, but I'm gonna finish it. And God help anybody that stands in my way. Wake up, Sebastian! Oh. What? Hoffman? What happened? She brought you here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I try to save her, but... No. I shot her. The bullet wound was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Damn it. She didn't have to die like that. She was a good soldier. She just wanted to save Lily. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. Again. No, Sebastian. It's not your fault. Don't let him do this to you. You're right. That goddamn son of a bitch. This is what he wants. Trying to make me feel guilty. But he's the one who did this. Not me. He's the guilty one. 
Okay. It's time to clean house. I've just gotta find Theodore. That's not the problem. Destroying Liam's machine worked. Theodore's out there in the open now. The problem is getting to him. What do you mean? I picked this up on the exterior surveillance system cameras. Have a look. Theodore's stronghold appeared in the middle of Union. But it's surrounded by what looks like a massive wall of fire. Shit. I won't be able to get through it. I think that there may be a way. I found a device in Liam's equipment room that should be able to help. Great. Let's see it. It's not quite ready. I still have to do a few tweaks. Okay. Go do what you have to do. I remember there being a hotel near there. I'll go check if it's safe, then send you the coordinates. You can meet me there with the device. Okay. I'll see you soon. <laughs>